everyone what is up welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new my name is Kat today I'm going to be doing a review and a time lapse of the 1000 pieces masterpieces Mr. Wiggins world gigs puzzle this one reminded us a lot of colonial America so it was quite fun to do so without further ado let's get on with the time lapse what did we think about this puzzle it was extremely enjoyable it definitely was not extremely hard which was definitely a nice calm one to do after our last puzzle that we did which was the spring box animal quackers one if you have not seen that video go over and check that one out because that border definitely gave us a huge challenge this border was definitely a whole lot easier and overall the whole entire puzzle was just so much easier and so much more enjoyable as you can see in the time lapse that I just did, there is three houses that are basically the same and then one house was by itself just a cream color. That one was extremely easy to do. We did have to go further into sorting the other three houses, but overall it definitely was not extremely hard and you were able to do the puzzles in a bunch of different sections, which you guys know that I love to do. I love to be able to work off of bigger sections. So this one was definitely right up my alley on enjoyability. Here's a closer look at the image. As I said, it definitely reminded us of Colonial America. We love learning about Colonial America. We love the Lost Colony up in the Outer Banks area. It was a lot of fun to do. This one kind of reminded us a little bit of that just because of the old boats, how they looked and stuff. So I definitely would say if you like Colonial America, definitely pick this one up. We picked this puzzle up on the Masterpieces website quite a while ago. It's been sitting in our closet. We've been wanting to do it, but we just have been picking others over this one. And I'm glad that we finally decided to do this one. The quality of this puzzle was awesome. The pieces stuck together pretty well. I like how Masterpieces quality is. The pieces don't stick incredibly well together where it's incredibly hard to take the pieces apart but you're able to move around big sections and work with that because the pieces do have a nice interlock. Also, there is kind of random pieces in there, but it's not as bad as Springbok, where Springboks are just incredibly hard to kind of figure out, is this a border, is this not a border? There's not fake borders in masterpieces, which I really like. I really like the random piece cut shape, but I don't like how Springbok does it so much where it's kind of confusing. So if you like kind of a watered down version of Springbok, I definitely would recommend picking up a masterpieces puzzle, but make sure that you pick up one on their website, not one at Big Lots, because the quality of the two different masterpieces puzzles are definitely different. So here are two pieces. This is one of the random cut pieces that I was talking about. There's a normal puzzle cardboard. They are not as thick as other brands, but they're still in nice quality. They are glossy, so be aware of that if you're doing puzzles at night, which we do, and it did not really cause a problem. Like I said, they are a decently nice quality. 
as for puzzle dust, there was not a lot of puzzle dust at all. So good job to Masterpieces for not having barely any puzzle dust, as you can see in this video here. So I was very, very impressed with the little bit amount of puzzle dust that I got when I was taking apart this puzzle. So on the puzzle rank of hardness scale, what do I give this puzzle? I give this puzzle a 4 out of 10. I definitely do not think that it is hard to do at all. It is definitely really enjoyable and it could be good for somebody that is just starting out doing puzzles and wants to do a 1000 piece. This one is awesome for one person or two people. So just remember that when you're picking this one up. So the big question, will we be doing this puzzle again? Yes, we will. We are going to be keeping this one. So, so sorry if you wanted this one. This one will not be available on our Mercari, but we do have a bunch of other puzzles listed on our Mercari. If you guys want to go and check that out, I will leave the link in the description. But I do love this puzzle, and this is one that we could see ourselves doing in the future. So this one is going to be going back into our puzzle closet. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my future puzzle content. And also make sure that you head over to our Instagram, Puzzling Through Life, and go give that a follow because we are going to try to post more frequently up on there. And I also post updates up there if I'm unable to post a weekly puzzle video. That is where I post that. So make sure that you go head over there and stay up to date on all of the content that you're going to miss on here. On our Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next week video. Bye!